Hey everyone, and welcome to a Wilkes University tutorial video. Today you are going to learn how to access and navigate through your online courses. If you don't already know how to log into the student portal, make sure to check out the video that we did on that. Once you've successfully logged in, navigate to the live hyperlink in the upper left hand corner of the launch pad. You can find this by looking for the little puzzle piece. Once you click this, it will take you to the program that houses all of your online courses. Now, one thing that's important to note is that in order to actually see your courses, you have to navigate through this top bar. These are your courses. This is your live email, which is actually separate from your Wilkes email, so make sure to check them both regularly. This is notifications, maybe something that your professor posted, and these are announcements. So typically these will be similar. This is your profile, and you can change the settings for the notifications that you receive. While I have access to every course, as my role uh, would allow me to, you guys will only see what you have access to and what you are currently registered for. So we're going to open the student orientation course as an example. All courses look the same, which is actually a really nice feature. So they all have the course home, content, discussions, assignments, grades, Panopto, and more tools tab, which houses the class list, grades, quizzes, and other things. We're going to look at just a couple of these, and once you have access to live, I do encourage you to take some time during the orientation to make sure to look through this. The content tab is always very important because it lists everything by your modules, which is also the way uh, that we describe your weeks. So module one, week one, module two, week two, and so forth. But you'll see that you have discussions, introductions, um, you'll typically have syllabi, information on proctoring, exams. There's a lot of helpful data heavy information that you want to look through in the content tab. Discussions and assignments go hand in hand and typically an assignment will require a discussion post. What that will look like is something like this where you'll have an explanation of the assignment and then you'll be able to click reply and put your post out there. Finally, I do encourage you guys to check your grades regularly and while we won't peek at anyone else's grades, uh, I will let you guys know that it's important to look through your own to see how you're doing in the course and I encourage you to uh, really reach out to your professors as often as possible to see where you're at. Finally, I just want to make sure that you guys know that you will have up to four weeks to look through all of this and during your student orientation that will happen before you get started. And if you've never taken the time to look through live and you're currently a student, uh, you're pretty crazy, but I do encourage you to take some more time now to look through and make sure that everything is as comfortable to you as possible. So thanks again for joining us for a tutorial video. And until next time, take care.